Yeah. All right. We are back with hour number two, Destro session 10. Take it away. I'm just going to sit back. <laughs> so give us that charisma roll. <laughs> <clears throat> can I, uh, can I like roll to see if Crunk can remember this guy's name? Uh, sure. History yeah, or like, uh, wisdom what do I roll. So it lets out a shriek and gets up on its hind legs and, an old man walks up and just pets it on his side, and it calms down. And looking at him, it looks exactly like the guy that was up in the hammock. Oh. Well, thank you for that. They don't seem to like me very much. <laughs> he, he looks at you, and he's like, you're disturbing their naps. Oh, and that wasn't my intention. I was actually coming up here to, to speak with you and I was trying to get your attention and your napping spot is a bit uh, interesting Crunk, <laughs> uh, it's wisdom for mem- remembering no, is this the straight wisdom roll or whatever? Uh, it's yeah yeah, I'd say that you remember question is do I? <laughs> oh <laughs> Did, was the name ever given? Is the question. Yeah, he gave yeah, you guys a like oh, half-assed yeah. oh. name. Yeah. Well, I'm so bad with names. <laughs> yeah, so am I. Our, our other campaign in the beginning, like you know how we did, like the um, like recap thing. Yeah. The DM, like sometimes he would do like. Uh, like lore questions like about like characters names and things about them and stuff like that and if you got it like he'd give you like five or ten xp or whatever it's kind of fun mm-hmm. it helped you remember the names and stuff yeah yeah his name was shin shin yeah shin oh all right hi shin you remember me shin how you doing he he looks at you. He's like, ah, the guy with the uh, amulet. Yeah, I left it on the table in there. It was, did, do you have it? It is in a safe place, he says. Oh, cool. Can I have it back? Thanks for keeping it safe for me. <laughs> he looks at you and he's like, it's sealed away. It's cursed. (laughs) Cursed? You said you didn't want anything to do with it. What changed your mind? Hey, he's looking at you You very inquisitively. They wouldn't wouldn't help me find the treasure. And now i got new friends. Maybe I can talk them into helping me find it. (laughs) He chuckles and says, You're going to talk your new friends into going into the deepest, darkest... Four is fighting all of Odin's minions to get to a tower that resides behind his temple where he himself has his throne. And you're going to take his treasure. Well, you didn't say that way last time. <laughs> <laughs> We we have Barrick. We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, now they put it that way. Maybe like in a couple of years. And he chuckles. Keep, that, keep a hold of it for me, and if I'm alive still in a few years, maybe I'll be back for it. He looks at you, Mega, and he's like, I believe you're trying to get my attention. What can I do for you? Yes, uh... I've been looking for a fellow wizard who has been participating in the tournament. And his uh, signature seems to be two uh, pet raptors that he takes into battle with him. But yet no one seems to know who he is or where I can find him. He chuckles and kind of knocks his staff against the ground, revealing a door in the tree. And reaches out, opens it. He's like, come in. 
I'll go ahead and walk in. He goes off to the corner and gets some tea. Just pours I'll it. Follow them guys in there too. Yes, yeah, same. And then sets it on the table and says, "Help yourself." And Crunk, this room has changed a little since you were last here. Like off to the corner, there's a table. Almost looks like it has an artificial, uh, how would you say it, biome. Like there's very tiny, uh, like really old looking trees. And there's a river running through it. Sand on like around the side of that. Wait, in the tree? Uh, yeah, in the tree. He has a table with like a fake uh, biome with a forest of really old looking trees and a river going through it. A biodome? Like, <laughs> a what? like a. Think of, think of it as a model, <laughs> but it's not a model, it's real. Yeah, it's living. He's Yeah, he's got literally a little forest in his corner on a table. <laughs> mm-hmm. So do you guys drink the tea? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, Varric does. <laughs> <laughs> Only Varric? Uh, um, I, 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 Shen is his name, right? Shin. Yeah. And I, you know, I kind of nodded him for, you know, and I, pre- I appreciate the gesture, but I have, I have uh, a condition in which I'm only trained. He, he chuckles and stops you and says, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> he probably knows I'm crazy. <laughs> We're all a little bit crazy. Um. Yes, but this this wizard who's competing, uh, he wields some uh, uh, pretty potent magic, and I've been trying to get a meeting with him to speak with him. But uh, as I said, no one in town seems to even know who he is, which is kind of odd for somebody who just popped up to enter a tournament. He says, uh, "Yes, well, wizards are often." Quite secretive. Yeah. Privacy is a uh, privacy is a, you know is definitely a sought after trait amongst our kind. But uh, one thing that that's whole reason my to speak. Sure, I'm out you know about with uh, fellow fighters and everything, making more of a public appearance. But at the same time, I'm doing so in the presence of others who will be noticed more than myself uh but him he he's his flamboyant nature and, and a rarity of uh capans he chooses to fight with uh, essentially makes him stand out to the common person and that just seems counter uh, counter to intuitive to his nature of being mysterious He says, tell me, have you ever seen the shores of time? No, I think before you answer, he just kind of goes and says, it's amazing what can uh, wash up on those. (laughs) I'm afraid that I'm, uh, I am afraid that my abilities still haven't allowed me to transcend to that. Uh, transcend to that level. He chuckles. Well, it's the only place you can find dinosaur eggs. I guess if you conjure a dinosaur <laughs> into existence, it would be a little bit easier. But If he's so you... able to do this, I'm sure he's quite powerful. Yeah, well, that's my concern. If the power of the power he wields without meeting him face to face, I'm afraid that us going into the fight with him might be especially one sided. So I'm trying to, you know, find him and speak with him and maybe get a gauge of not only his power but also see exactly what he's after, why he entered the tournament. 
he says, I am unable to find him as well. He must be in another realm. That doesn't bode well for us. <laughs> if he if if he's walking through other realms. He chuckles and says, Well, every wizard has his own weakness. Well, we can hope that his is fire. <laughs> or something <laughs> something easily accessed. Uh, he, he chuckles. Yeah, most wizards don't like getting caught on fire. <laughs> First thing in the flames is very unpleasant. Very much so. And he he laughs and then he looks over at the table and you can see trees are getting knocked over as something is moving through it. And it's like caught his undivided attention. Well, I don't want to keep you... Obviously, you have things to get to and uh, I understand that. I do thank you for the information you provided. You know, I... I like I said, if you're unable to locate him as well, then there's not much we could do before our fight. Um, though, if something were to change and you were to, you know, get any information about him or locate him before our fight, you know, if you could send a runner to me, <coughs> I'd be very much appreciative. He chuckles. Sure. If I find anything I feel like revealing, I'll send a griffin. <laughs> Preferably one who doesn't choose to see me as a meal. <laughs> he what's chuckles. Shane? Shane, what's in the... What's that moving around on there? <clears throat> He's like, well, it's a behemoth. A baby one? No, it's a full size. On the table? He chuckles. It's not just a table. It's a map. Oh, a map of uh, what? Of the northern forest. I've been watching this behemoth meal cycle. Well, I uh, say so you're studying. You're either studying na- in nature, or you just like watching stuff get destroyed and eaten. He chuckles. It becomes <laughs> kind of a game, like here, and he kind of like reaches down, touches the table, moves it over, and you can see like the land shift. And you can see a uh, dragon, like, sitting down next to the water, drinking. And he says, uh, this will probably be his next meal. Are you going to eat a dragon? Derek kind of puts his hand out and tries to touch the table. (laughs) <laughs> You're gonna lose your hand. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's nice. You're always supposed to look at first, I think. So as you reach out for the table, the wizard guy with you grabs your hand. And you can kind of feel his, uh, what would you say, anger that you're trying to touch his stuff, <clears throat> especially if something as valuable as a magic map. I just kind of pull my hand back. I'm like, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he lets out a sigh and says, well... Do you have any other questions? Uh, I'm, everything's good with me. Like I said, uh, thank you for your information. And and uh, I, I appreciate the assistance. He chuckles and says, I'm sure we'll meet again soon. 
Well, Shin, wait, Shin, don't you, uh, do you have, like, any magical trinkets or anything I could buy from you that might help when I, when we go against this wizard with these crazy beasts and stuff? Uh, not for you, I don't. Not, not yet, you're not ready. Well, if I'm not ready, well, I'm, I'll be dead. He chuckles. Actually, and... actually, I do have one other question. What do you know about raptors? <laughs> <laughs> His eyebrow raises. Are you sure it's a raptor you're fighting? Um, I hold out my hand and uh, I'll do a prestigitation and create like a likeness of it, like a picture of it, and show it to him. Okay. Uh... Yeah, these are pretty much the same thing as uh, <laughs> raptors. <laughs> <laughs> it just has a different name. It's called okay. uh, Allosaurus. Oh, uh, okay. And he looks at it and it's like, ah. It's one of the weaker dinosaurs, but it can be vicious if it gets up close. He, he looks at you and says, beware of its uh, charge. If it hits you, it can deal massive, massive amounts of pain. Good to know. Do you know if they're specifically resistant against anything? or? Well, it's living, so it's probably vulnerable against death. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes these things have a strong resistance against for example you know lightning or or uh, they don't burn as well or you, you understand what I mean well yeah, I haven't seen one in some time so I can't really say what it's weak against I understand but again thank you for the information and I move my hand and take the you know make the picture dissolve and he nods and escorts you guys to the door. Okay. I think we're leaving if everyone's in agreement. <laughs> yep. Yep. See you soon. From the back of the room, you kind of hear this uh, real quiet and hush, like, roar from the table. Back from the, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he then, seems distracted and kind of like trying to shoo you out real quick. Yeah, yeah. And we'll <laughs> leave. It's not Wait, every day you see a behemoth fight against a dragon. Oh. Yeah, that's very true. You guys want to watch it? <laughs> I think he wants, I think it's a private moment for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's literally pushing you out the door yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, well, as the door shuts behind you, it disappears. Okay. Well, let's see. We know we're fighting dinosaurs. The wizard can't be found, so there goes that idea. We do have uh, Gladius fighting with us. Um. You know what? We're just gonna have to. We're just going to have to take him down as quickly as possible and keep out of uh, range of those dinosaurs. How are you... Put uh, a little on spells. Yeah, I was going to say, how are you two as far as your... D d uh, how is your faith doing at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> My faith says let us go shopping for a heal potion. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, let's, uh, 
Let, let's go and uh, secure some stuff. Um, I, b- b- so okay. I guess what we'll do, the uh, we'll go ahead and um, where are we? Is there is there an alchemist that sells that type of thing so we'd yeah. be able to go to? Okay, we'll go ahead and head towards the alchemist. Healing potions are quite popular in this town, especially with the tournament. Mm-hmm. Just you guys have been killing everybody so fast that they haven't had a chance to use them. <laughs> oh, really? We should have been looting these people. You probably should have. <laughs> oh, we only killed the. <coughs> one we only had off. one fight, right? The other one was a stalemate, so. We only right. had two fights. So you get to the alchemist, and he only has 17 left. Okay, how much is mm-hmm. one for him? Uh, 50 gold pieces a piece. Okay. How much so does this thing heal? It's, it's like the same as a single uh, cure light wounds. Which is what, 1d8? Or I don't know. 1D8 yeah, it's d8. Caster. Is it plus caster now? It's. I don't know. Yeah, what, what is, is it? I have a tricky 4 plus 2. Oh, yeah, proficiency. It'd be plus proficiency. You said he has 17? I'm sorry? Yeah. In fact, I could probably find them in the DMG potions. Never been good at finding this stuff. I'm looking for uh, cure light. Oh. The, uh, Somebody having a fight in their backyard? Let me. The dogs, man. The dogs are fighting each other. Potion is 139. Uh, cure Wounds is a creature you touch regains the number of hit points equal to 1d8 plus your spellcasting ability modifier. Well, a potion, though, wouldn't have a spellcasting ability modifier. So. <laughs> It'd be the. Equal, the same uh, alchemist mass or alchemist yeah proficiency that's a good point yeah where the hell is the potion it's the, the I can tell you because I've been recently going through it because of my stuff. It's a pain in the butt to find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on they, the page that it says it's supposed to be in. Yeah, they don't have a very good uh, index. No. Uh, the old, like, second edition, I think, still has the best DMG. As far, at least as far as finding stuff like that. Because literally, you turn to the back half of the book and it's all magic items and it's organized by. Uh, Weapons, armor, well, miscellaneous uh, weapons, armor, and stuff, and then the potions are at the very front. But uh, yeah, you nice. would think that it'd be easy to find. Uh huh. Let's see if the player handbook is better. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> I would say it's just the same as uh. Cure wounds, but with the uh, alchemist's spellcasting ability. Just make it simple for now. We're not going to use it until we get in the fight anyway. Yeah, so. we'll just have it as the normal D8 plus one. I think it's on page 153, at least of the E version. And there's no limit to how many you can drink, right? Like, there's no healing potion poisoning. <laughs> oh, let's just say. Uh... I wouldn't rely on it too heavily, but have you ever seen the YouTube video uh, with the two wizards fighting? What was it? Called? Uh, that thing was hilarious. Fireball, I think fire. it was like a college humor one. I haven't. All right. Does uh does Jean come to uh the training grounds to let me know? Oh uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Is he wearing armor? 
with bodyguards like, hey, how you doing? Don't hit me. <laughs>